time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready, we're about to pump you up. Live from the greatest city in the world, this is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning, it's No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious March weekend? March weekend? It's March Madness, right? It is March Madness. I mean, my, my Wildcats, they won the Big East Championship, Bob. I just don't think they have it in them this year to win the national championship. What are your thoughts? Well, that's why they play the game, right? I'm just uh, hoping that some of my upsets that I picked in my pool actually pay off. We'll see. We'll see. I never do well in those pools, but uh, <laughs> maybe this year will be a better year for the for the basketball pool. Well, I don't know if you ever noticed, Rye, but over the last 45 years, I haven't quit my day job because I'm so good at picking teams <laughs> to win in the NCAA tournament. <laughs> this could be the year, Bob. <laughs> you can hand your resignation. <laughs> could be it. No, this could be month. my lottery ticket. All That's right. right. Then I'll well, be a solo show. Just in case it show. isn't, let's talk about finance. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about covering all your bases. When it comes to your retirement plan, Bob and I are going to discuss the essentials you need to have handled. We're going to talk about financial decisions. We're going to break down the right way to evaluate and make choices about your finances, along with this week's financial propaganda, where we call out the worst advice the financial media has recently been broadcasting. And we have our spotlight segment today. We're going to have our financial advisor on the show, Frankie Lagrateria, she's going to break down a real case that she worked on and talk about some of the things she did to help a specific couple get on their path to financial freedom. So let's hop right to it. Bob, when it comes to your retirement planning, it only takes one area where you have planned poorly to really ruin everything. So let's discuss some of the critical areas you need to address. And the first one that comes to mind, Bob, is the possibility of outliving your money. Well, Rob, I got a pop quiz for you. What is the right. number one concern of all retirees? <laughs> I'm going to take a wild guess. Outliving your money. Absolutely. I mean, it's the biggest, scariest thing in the world because you're used to collecting a paycheck. You think, okay, well, if I want to buy something, I'll work a little harder. I'll put a little overtime in. You know what? Maybe I'll just hit the petty cash drawer. But you know, you <laughs> can't do that when you're retired, can you? No, that's the problem. Once the paycheck stops, you have to come up with a game plan for where you're going to replace that income. So if you're getting close to retirement now, or even if you're in retirement, you know we're all going to get Social Security, which is great. If you're really lucky, you have a pension on top of that. But the reality of it is, Bob, we all have to figure out a way now to start drawing money from our portfolio to supplement our income. And to me, that's kind of the baseline in figuring out if you're going to run out of money, figure out where the money's going to come from when you stop working. Well, that's the thing, right? It's not something you can just pop off the top of your head. So I live on X and I have an income coming in Y and I'm, I'm covered. You have to really factor in lots of other things like the cost of living, you know, taxes, uh, unexpected health care costs. These are a lot of issues that uh, have to be addressed in a written plan. It's so simple if you do a written plan. Yeah, and it gets worse. <laughs> if I, yeah. Basically, not only do you have to worry about, okay, I know what income I have coming in now, and I know what my expenses are, and they balance out. The problem is, Bob, your expenses over time are going to start to go up. We call that inflation, and inflation is one of those what you call insidious taxes that gets built into your retirement. Well, it's even worse than that, Rye. When I was a kid, I used to go to the movies uh, with all my buddies in the neighborhood, and we saw these great, you know, B movies, these black and white horror movies, and they always had a relentless, creeping monster, you know, coming after you. That's what inflation is. It's insidious. It's gradual. It's continual, and it hunts you down. And you just have to always be in fear of inflation if you haven't taken steps to address it. Yeah, and here's the problem, right? Because you're in retirement, maybe you need $100,000 a year to live on, let's just say. And all of a sudden, 20 years later, now you need $200,000 to live on. And if you have a lot of fixed income coming in, for example, Bob, you know, if you have an annuity, for instance, that has this fixed payment coming in for your life, that sounds great. The problem is that doesn't adjust with inflation. So eventually that amount you have coming in is not enough to supplement your retirement. The same thing stands for if you have a portfolio of just CDs and cash, right? You need a hedge against inflation. You know, it's like those long car trips we used to take. If you're, you have a destination in mind, 
and you miscalculate how much gas is in the tank, you don't reach your destination. So I think what you're telling me, I think you're making an announcement right now, right? A fixed annuity mean that you don't have enough gas in your tank. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's a great uh, metaphor for uh, you know not having enough, uh, for using a, an annuity per se. And the other thing you just mentioned too, Bob, is cash or CDs. That's right. You go to the bank now or you see these advertisements, you're getting great rates on CDs. Maybe you're getting 2.5%, which now apparently is a phenomenal rate on your money. But why is that a problem? Well, it's a big problem. And first of all, it's a good deal because it beats a sharp stick in the eye. That's about it. But you know, <laughs> you have to pay tax on that income. And even though inflation has been muted, it's still real. So net of inflation taxes, 2.5% return, not even breaking even. Yeah, because you're getting 2.5% after you pay taxes on it, it's probably less than 2%. And inflation, or the amount that the cost of living has gone up, is about 2% a year. So you're losing money. And that's not a great strategy for retirement. You have to keep your money growing abreast of inflation because the things that cost you X today is going to cost you a lot more money in the future. Which brings us, Bob, to the other basis you have to have covered. That's any sort of kind of medical, nursing home costs. I mean, we're living longer now, so we need to account for a lot higher expenses when it comes to things like your medical and nursing. Well, Ryan, I just had a report come out from Fidelity talking about a you know 65-year-old couple and how much they're going to spend in healthcare expenses in their lifetime. Now, do you know any 65-year-old couples? I know a lot, Bob. It's about 60% of our client base. Well, how about your mom and dad? Oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> I thought you were younger than that, Bob. So I'm going to need 280000 just to cover my health care expenses in, over the rest of my life expectancy. That's up 2% from last year was 275000 That was the lowest increase in the last 20 years. Yeah, that's an astronomical number. And the reality of it is it's not coming down. So you really need to factor into your plan. What if I have a $280,000 medical hit right over the course of my retirement? Is that going to affect the amount of money that you can live on on an annual basis? But these are all the things you need to consider and think about when you're doing that retirement plan, whether you're close to retirement or even if you're in retirement now, you have to know or you have to throw that kitchen sink, Bob, at your retirement plan to make sure it works. Yeah. And you might be sitting there thinking, you know, you know, that's a catastrophic health issue or some big hit. It's not. It's a cumulative cost. You know, these premiums go up. You have cost sharing provisions. You know, wait till you sign up for Medicare and you find out you have out-of-pocket expenses with Medicare A and B and D. You know, Rye, these are things that you really don't think about. And it's the things you don't think about. The things that you don't see are the ones that bite you, right? Yeah, no, exactly right. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to get my basis covered. I don't have all this stuff wired for retirement. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. It's our famous financial review where we look at everything. All you need to do is get your statements, print them off the computer, put them in a folder, bring them in the office. Bob and I are going to build you your own personalized financial portal where you can get a bird's eye view of your entire financial situation and we can start looking at all the critical components. Everything from fees. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in your investment portfolio. We're going to show you where all the high costs are in those annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products, show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio so there's more money in your pocket in retirement. We're going to look at income. How are you going to replace your income in retirement or if you're retired now? Bob and I are going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio to fill in that income gap. And we're going to look at diversification. Is your portfolio protected? Did you get hit really hard at the end of the year when the market collapsed? We're going to show you how to bulletproof and protect your portfolio for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? And all you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of our next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there won't be a plan unless you text or call. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 
This is Bob Payne, and I'm with my son, Rye Payne, and we're the Paynes. No pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. This past Sunday, we set our clocks ahead for daylight savings time. And right on cue, the global financial markets sprung ahead on the week with many markets posting their highest close in more than four months. The Commerce Department report showed core capital orders, a key measure of business investment, rising eight tenths of 1% in January after falling the previous two months. U.S. construction spending increased 1.3% in January. Now, this was the largest increase since April. However, the big news was the cost of wholesale goods falling from 2.5% to 2.3% year over year, well below last summer's 3% growth. This indicates few signs of a pickup of inflation in the pipeline. It makes a very strong case to keep the Federal Reserve patient on any further interest rate hikes. Shares of Boeing had a rough week after U.S. regulators grounded the 737 MAX 8 and 9 aircraft in line with similar decisions in other countries. However, it was a great lesson for market watchers who persist in believing that the Dow or the S&P 500 is the market, which, of course, it's not. It only represents the 500 largest company stocks and is a capitalization weighted index. On any given day, however, several thousand stocks are traded in the U.S. and on other exchanges around the globe. And that is the market. So when the Dow was down 200 points earlier this week, The loss was due to a sharp drop in Boeing stock price. Meanwhile, advancing shares outnumbered decliners by a two to one margin. In other words, most stocks, the market was up when the Dow was down. Reminding us all once again of the quote from Nobel Prize winning American economist, Harry Markowitz, that the only free lunch on Wall Street is diversification. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio appropriate for my risk tolerance? Do I have a high probability of achieving my goals and my dreams and meeting my income needs? I sit there and wonder when you could know. Give us a call or simply text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments. And I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Feeling beaten down by complex numbers and fees? I must break you. Work out those financial muscles with the team at Payne Capital Management. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I, we want to make sure that you have the most common sense, straightforward advice when it comes to your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest guide, Highlights from the New Tax Law, just to get you up to speed with the new tax reform. Taxes are on the corner. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555 888-888. 888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. Highlights from the new tax law. What you need to know about the new tax reform. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, we know that making decisions about your retirement can feel very overwhelming, if not outright intimidating. 
What are some of the reasons we have difficulty making financial decisions? Yeah, you know, Rye, it's really simple. We're normal, average human beings, and you are full of emotions. And when it comes to your retirement and money, it's the most emotional decision there is. Yeah, and especially in a lot of cases, we find this when you come to our offices, maybe you've been doing it yourself for years and years and years. And it just comes to a point where it gets too stressful to make those decisions because like we always say, Bob, the closer you get to retirement or when you're in retirement, the stakes are a lot higher than when you're younger and you're working and you can make it up if you make a bad decision. And I think that's one of the reasons why making those decisions becomes way more critical. Well, yeah. And then what happens is that uh, instead of reading all the information and becoming educated, you find that there's life gets in the way. So you end up making decisions based on what's being sold. Like, for example, every insurance product is sold. It's never bought. So if you have an insurance policy or an annuity, it's something someone sold to you. It's not necessarily something you went out and, and tried to buy on your own. And the problem with a lot of those type of product sales per se, where it's not actually a financial plan that you're getting, Bob, it's like you always say when you buy like an insurance product or an annuity, it's kind of like Chinese food. It tastes so good going down, but then you feel so empty later because you're like, what the heck did I just buy? And I don't really understand all these complicated calculations on how I'm supposed to get income from this thing. That can be really nerve wracking not to understand what you own. And a corollary to that, Rye, is having too much information. It's what I call having paralysis by analysis, where you yes. just can't function if you have too many options. Um, and you know, as a result, you make no decision. But no decision is a decision, isn't it, Rye? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great point. We actually had a gentleman come in here the other day, same thing. He's like, man, I watch all the different shows. You, you go on one station, they're telling you the world's great. You go to another station and they tell you the world, it's the end of the world, it's apocalypse now. So how the heck do you make a decision, especially now with so much information coming at you? It's just like outright overwhelming, Bob. I guess it's not shocking, Rye, when it comes to financial decisions, 68% of you are procrastinating. You're procrastinators because you just don't feel like, you know, it's time to do it, right? You just don't feel like you'll, you really, you know. But here's the thing. Will they ever know, Rye? No, you're never going to have this perfect plan laid out where you where everything is basically answered. But what I will say this is there's a lot of different ways to cut a cake. There's no one mm -hmm. process that is the be all end all process. But having a process for goodness sakes is better than having no process at all. And the same gentleman that came in to talk to us that was so overwhelmed because he was doing it himself. He was watching all the different stations. He actually met with us, Bob. He met with four other financial advisors before he finally made a decision. And then I asked him, you know, why did you choose us versus all these other financial advisors? Hmm. What was that answer? He basically <clears throat> said it came down to we actually gave him a tangible plan. Like, this is how we're going to generate the income for you in retirement. And I think that's a good litmus test if you're talking to somebody. Make sure they come back with a real plan, not, oh, we'll show you the plan when you come in the door. That's not acceptable. Mm. No, it's like, uh, you know, the bait and switch type of thing. But you know what? Reason 50% of people procrastinate rise because they blame it on stress. But not making a decision, isn't that what causes the stress? It's kind of ironic, right? We're stressed out to think about our planning, but by not thinking about our planning and kind of just pushing it in the back of our mind only makes it worse. I mean, nothing's more therapeutic than getting this stuff out on paper. And to me, like a financial plan is the best financial therapy you can possibly have. Because just hashing out your expenses, what you need to live on, painting that picture just makes life so much better, Bob. Well, according to all the experts, Ryan, right, the number one way to eliminate stress is to take action. You know, take a step. You know, when you make an appointment and you meet with an advisor and start that planning process, you're taking action. You don't have to commit yourself to anything. Wait till you know when you have everything in writing and you can understand what they're recommending and why they're recommending it. Yeah, and I think the thing too to think about that too is don't feel like you have to have all the answers. I mean, we I always see them when you come into our office, it's like, oh, I don't really know what our expenses are. Guess what? Nobody does. <laughs> You're not alone. Yeah. And that's the kind of stuff that we can just sit down and we can model that stuff out to get a baseline. You don't have to know these things ahead of time. And people are always embarrassed, think, oh, I don't have a budget. I, I didn't want to come here yet because I don't have a budget. It doesn't matter. All that stuff can be worked out. The first step to your point, Bob, is you got to take that action. You know, Ryan, I think over my 45 years, I've been waiting for the bell to ring, you know, for somebody to tell me, now's the time to do X or why, you know, financial markets are, they're vibrant or dynamic. It doesn't work that way. But you know, what's nice. Once you have a written plan, if you have a 360 financial portal, like our clients do, you're able to see your plan in progress. You know, how am I doing versus my goals? 
And I think that's the key, you know, knowing every day whether you're there or what steps you need to take. You know, we want to be told what to do, but we want to know, is it the right thing? Right, Ryan? Yeah, it's like the my favorite Bobism is if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. So you got to put a measuring stick out there and you got to put together a plan that you can measure over time. And you know, folks, if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to know, am I financially healthy? Am I able to measure my progress towards my goals? Do I know if I have an appropriate portfolio? Am I taking more risk than necessary? Am I being overcharged by that portfolio that I've had for 20 or 30 years? Well, if you are one of our next few callers and you have at least 200,000 for retirement, here's your opportunity. It's a full holistic review where we look at everything. You know, it's the only review you'll ever need. All you have to do is gather up all your statements, stick it in a shopping bag, you know, put it in a folder. You don't even have to open them up. Just pick up the phone or call or text and set an appointment. We're gonna review everything with you and we're going to design your own 360 financial portal that allows you to become financially organized and view your complete financial life in real time. You'll be able to view your goals and how you're progressing toward those goals. We can give you a gold star when you achieve them. And we're gonna look at all of your portfolios and put it down to one simple analysis, which will identify whether or not you have a portfolio that has the three key elements of a successful strategy. That's diversification, cost, and income. Now we wanna be diversified. Everybody tells us to be diversified, but we wanna be truly diversified to make sure that you have diversification across those asset classes and within those asset classes. Fees are something that are hidden. They're something that you don't readily see on a statement. We wanna be certain that you're not being overcharged by the hidden cost. And we wanna take those costs out of your advisor's pocket, put it back in your pocket where it really belongs. And lastly, income. You know, Ryan's always talking about the income gap that we have in retirement. And you know what the number one goal of all of you that are retired? You wanna stay retired. We need to be certain that income is dependable, repeatable, and will be there, you know, for the rest of our lives. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we'll answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over four decades? That's right. We've been working for 45 years and helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Six six nine two. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track at eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, what did you find out there this week in the horrid world of financial propaganda? You know, Ryan, I work really hard. I read everything you know, I look for what's happening with the Federal Reserve. I see what's happening with earnings. I look at the ISM data, PMI data. But it turns out, according to this article, none of that is important, right? Really? They have the I mean, most, I thought they were... Yeah, the most reliable indicator has nothing to do with the economy. Are you ready I'm for this? Up. Hang on to your hat. I'm ready. It's It has to do with it only comes out at night, and it's called the moon. <laughs> wow. You know what? I am I am definitely changing all my, all my analysis. This is huge, Bob. Well, I mean, listen to this premise. If the moon moves tides, right? And it okay. has a big impact on the rising and the lowering of tides. Human beings and traders are mostly made of water. So if it can move oceans, <laughs> why can't it move traders' emotions? <laughs> it's the mo- I mean, it's so obvious. I can't believe we never thought about this before. <laughs> 
Well, as it turns out, stocks can rise about five percentage points more based on this factor than on any other factor. Of course, it doesn't factor in the real world of trading, right? You have bid and, and, and ask prices that you get to trade on, transaction costs, taxes. Actually, there's no track record to touch this, this crazy strategy. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, that's that's I probably, in a, in a crazy way, Bob, that's probably just as accurate as most of these market prognosticators who never get it right. You might as well just base your decisions based on the moon because probably your odds are about the same. Well, that's the thing. And that's the whole thing about financial propaganda. You know, people are looking for an edge or an angle. And when it really what it really comes down to, you want to be a long-term investor. You want to stick with that tried and true long-term investment strategy, rebalancing with cash flow. And the one thing you want to do, Rye, is take the lunar indicator, stick it in a box of indicators that don't work, you know, like things like, you know, the trend is your friend. Let's just like dump all that stuff and focus on the real hard work of investing. Yeah, no, exactly right. And it's the real hard work of investing is staying invested. And, you know, this is what happens. We get all these reasons not to stay invested. In the same vein, Bob, we had Jeffrey Gunlock, who is considered the Bond King of the new Bond King. There's always a new Bond King, but right now he's yeah, he the Bond King. Bill Gross, right? That's right. There was Bill Gross, who used to be the Bond King, and then he made all these bad decisions, and all of a sudden he became forgotten very quickly and was dethroned by our new Bond King. And the new Bond King, who apparently is the King of Bonds, decided that stocks now here are overvalued and are in a bear market. Who would have known? Aren't stocks up like over 10% for the year? But apparently they're in a bear market. I don't know how that works, Bob. Well, part of the markets are up 10%. Some of the markets up 20% year to date. To me, that's a bull market, not a bear market. So we've had this magnificent rally since the collapse on Christmas Eve. But he says that the weakening economic data from the US are sending bearish signals. Bob, I don't know if I'm living under a rock, but the economic data has been phenomenal. Not only has it been phenomenal, Rod, the performance of the market has been phenomenal year to date. I can't wait to call our clients on Monday to tell them that their small company portfolio that's up 20% year to date is because we're in a bear market. I just hope it keeps being bearish. <laughs> and that's the other thing you have to be really careful about because you get these gurus or these experts out there talking. And a lot of times what they say is not actually correct. I mean, let's face it, we have the lowest unemployment, Bob, that we've had in 50 years. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Wages went up last year. Americans got a $140 billion tax break, yet the economic data isn't good. I mean, what am I missing here? Well, what you're missing is that no one has a crystal ball. Nobody can predict what's not predictable or know what's not knowable. What you do know is what you need to do as an individual investor and what you need to do in your own portfolio. Last thing you want to do is try and tweak it with these gurus who think they can predict what's not predictable. And it also goes back to what we were talking about before when it comes to your planning. When you get out of the market or you get out of your bond portfolio or, or whatever proactive or reactive moves that you're making and you go to cash, you're not earning those dividends and in interest anymore. Like we said before, you go to cash, you're getting maybe 2% if you're lucky. That's not a great return. Whereas, Bob, even if the market's going up or down, if you have a portfolio of high quality stocks that are paying dividends, you're still getting your rental income from your portfolio every single quarter. And that's way more important for retirement than if the market's going to go up or down for the next couple months. Hey, Roy, that's just common sense. And you know what there's a lack of in financial propaganda? <laughs> common sense. I'm sorry. I hate to bring that to the table. You know, Maybe we should get away from common sense, Bob. I don't think it, it's not as sensational as some of these headlines out there. Well, as I've helped people achieve their goals over 45 years, Rye, I'm sticking to my knitting and I'm not going to read or listen to financial propaganda. Wise decision, Bob. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a real financial game plan for retirement. I can't be reliant on all the financial propaganda that's out there. Here's your shot to do it. We still have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at the whole picture. All you need to do is print those statements off the computer, put them in a folder, bring them in the office. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal where we take a bird's eye view of everything and we look at all the critical components to your retirement. We're going to look at everything from fees. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in these investment portfolios. Everything from those insurance products, 
annuities, brokerage products, mutual funds. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical for retirement, whether you're getting close to retirement or in retirement now. What is your income gap? We're going to show you how to fill in that income gap in retirement. We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio so you have enough cash flow coming in. And we're going to look at diversification. Did your portfolio get hit really hard at the end of the year when the market fell? We're going to show you how to protect or bulletproof or safeguard your portfolio for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Brian and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there won't be a plan unless you call or text us 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with Ride, and we're the Pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Planning for retirement takes longer than a New York minute. Get started with Ryan and Bob Payne. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I, we're simple men. So we want to keep it simple for you, give you practical, common sense advice that you can use with your planning and investing. That's why we put together our latest guide, highlights from the new tax law, just to get you up to speed with the new tax reform. Taxes are around the corner. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. Text the word bullish to 555-888. Highlights from the new tax law. Get up to speed with the new tax reform. You can download our guide for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can check for yourself, but Bob's hair is real. But again, at BeBullish.com, you can know for sure. And we can subscribe to our show there. We have some of our updated market commentary. Just go to BeBullish.com and you can get all that information. And most weeks, you can catch myself and other advisors at Payne Capital and Management on all the major networks from CNBC, Fox Business News, Yahoo Finance, with just our latest thoughts on the market and the economy. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, you can email us, questions at bbullish.com. That's questions at bbullish.com. And if it's a really good question, Bob and I will answer it right here on the show. And like most weeks, we got some pretty good questions. And we have in the studio with us, Mark Haywood, our producer, to help us with questions this morning. Good morning, Mark. What's shaking, brother? Always good to be with you, gentlemen. And we are here. It is selection weekend, which means I'm probably going to be spending the next several days filling out brackets and procrastinating work in anticipation of the tournament. I like it. Sounds like a lot of North Carolina blue to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't jinx it, Bob. Don't jinx it. I won't jinx it. We uh, The Tar Heels look good, but uh, there are a couple other good teams out there, believe it or not. And I don't know. Have you heard of this Zion Williamson guy? I haven't heard much about him this season. And he's a bench warmer, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He might be coming off the bench, but uh, I do hear he, uh, he has some shoe problems. So, mm. oh man. But it's going to be a good tournament. Always excited to see what happens. And yes, we're hoping for good things for the Hills. So, everybody knock on wood with me and uh, pull up a chair. First question this week comes to us from Leslie on Staten Island. Leslie, thanks for writing in. She says, Bob, I have a financial advisor who has done a good job for me over the years, but my brother always says I could be doing better. Should I listen to my brother or tell him to leave me alone? You know, Leslie, your brother's very wise. It's always good to get a second opinion because what is good? It's a relative term. Good versus what? Why not have great? It's always good to check and see if you're on track. You know, things change. As you get older, your strategy should be a little bit different, right? You should adjust your risk tolerance. You should adjust your portfolio 
You know, Rye reminds me back in 2007, one of our current clients had an advisor who simply didn't believe in bonds. So he had a retiree, 70 years old, 100% in stocks. And you know what happened in that, uh, that sorry tale, don't you? Oh, yeah. No, that's, uh, and that's the thing. It's funny. I met with someone this past week and he's about 60 years old. He wants to retire in about two, three years. And he decided that he wanted to see what he actually had as an asset allocation. So he gave us all his statements. We put it on a spreadsheet for him like we normally do. And he was 80% equity. He had no idea, Bob. He was like completely freaked out. Hmm. So you're right. Sometimes it's just get that second opinion. And a lot of times you might be doing everything right, but it's nice to get some confirmation around that because you could be at an age now where it just you just don't have the time to make it up and you can't make the same mistakes you may have made back you know, when you were further from retirement or weren't retired. You know, Ryan, a similar situation, just had a, a client refer us to um, one of his neighbors on LBI. And he said, you know, am I supposed to hear from my advisor? <laughs> he said, yeah. He said, well, I haven't heard from him since 2012. But, you know, he's still managing the portfolio. I said, well, how can he manage the portfolio unless you have a discretionary agreement? He goes, I don't know what that is. I said, well, it sounds like you're being churned. He says, is that bad? I goes, yeah, that's bad. So, you know, you really need to make sure that um, you update, you know, what's being done in your portfolio. If, if it's in your best interest, the second opinion, you know, hey, look, right, if you're going to brain surgery, you're going to take the one surgeon's opinion, you're going to get two or three opinions. Yeah, exactly right. I like to take two or three opinions on that one, Bob. <laughs> but, Absolutely, yeah. But your financial this health is just surgery, important. But you know what? Sometimes it might be more important, right? Yeah, exactly. Financial health is right there after your physical health. All right. Thanks for writing in, Leslie. Let's take a question now from Jim, who writes in from Westport, Connecticut. He says, Ryan, I want to save more for retirement than what I'm allowed to put in my 401k. Where's the best place to put that money? Okay. I like this question because your 401k is a great place to put money because of the tax advantages, right? You put the money in before tax, the money grows tax deferred, and ideally you don't take that money out till later when you're in retirement, ideally in a lower tax bracket. So there's a lot of different things you can do, Bob. And you, know, you and I, we're such believers in optimizing your portfolio for taxes. What are some of the other strategies above and beyond that 401k that uh, Jim could do for his portfolio? Well, you can always do a backdoor Roth, right? Like you've had me do over the last couple of years. Great strategy. Yes. A Roth IRA is an awesome way to save more money. Now, not to get into too many of the nuances of it, but essentially it's after-tax money you put in this account, but it grows tax-free and you can take it out tax-free. Tax-free growth that you can take out is awesome, but you know, depending on how much income you make, you can maybe do a Roth or not do a Roth. And that's, Bob, your point. If you make too much money to do a Roth IRA, there's also a strategy called a backdoor Roth, but you need to talk to your accountant or financial advisor about that. But that's just another great strategy you can use the other thing I think about, Bob, is tax-free income, tax-free bonds. A mm -hmm. lot of us are in high sure. tax brackets. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, I mean, why pay taxes when you can have tax-free income? And of course, high-quality municipal bonds, you know, bonds that are issued by states and cities, AA-rated bonds are the, some of the best investments you can make in terms of, of safety. Because when it comes to bonds, you know, right, it's not always just return on your money. I think the most important issue is return of your money. And the other thing to look at, Bob, and I ran this for a client about a week ago, we looked at his portfolio and assumed if he was able to get a 6% return on his money, tax inefficiently, he wasn't able to retire. However, if we got him a 5.5% return, which is less, but we optimized the tax efficiency, we looked at owning tax-free bonds, we looked at having some money in a Roth IRA we just talked about, he actually made it for retirement. So the irony is mm. you can get a lower return, but if your lower return puts more money in your pocket because you're paying less taxes, that's better than getting a higher return where you're paying a lot more in taxes. You know, there's so many great ideas out there, right? There's health savings accounts that not everybody qualifies for, but you need an advisor who's paying attention to see if these are things that you could be doing. You know, why not have a, another portfolio that's triple tax exempt? And there's so many other ideas that, man, you got to sit down with a great advisor to find out if you're paying more tax than necessary. As we love to say, Bob, money saved in taxes is just as green as any money you can make invested. You know, Rice, well said. Now, I have a question for you. On a scale of one to 10, how did Jim and Leslie stand in terms of being financially organized? Well, I have to say they're asking some of the right questions. So I'm going to give them a three and a half today, Bob. That's about as benevolent as I can ever be. Well, I'm sure they'd like to be a 10. So let me ask all of you, on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized are you right now? 
Well, how financially organized would you like to be? If you'd like to be at 10, here's your opportunity. All you have to do is be one of our next few callers and have saved at least 200000 for retirement because Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. It's a full holistic display of what you own and more importantly, why you own it because not only will we list your net worth in real time, we'll list all of your goals and how you're progressing towards those goals and we'll let you know when you've achieved those goals even more importantly. In addition, we'll take all of your statements and you don't even have to open them. Stick them in a shopping bag, stick them in a folder, just pick up the phone or text us, set up an appointment because we're gonna break down your portfolio to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy in this volatile marketplace. We wanna be certain that you're fully diversified, that you don't have any overlap, that you don't have too much of a good investment like Boeing turned out to be this week. We wanna be certain that you are fully diversified to prevent the risk that the market inherently has. We wanna look at your cost. You know, I don't know about you, but I really despise being overcharged. And the last thing I wanna do is be overcharged by my own portfolio. And lastly, income. We're gonna look at your income stream to make sure that it's dependable and repeatable to fill that gap once you decide to retire. And more importantly, we wanna be certain that you can stay retired, net of inflation and net of taxation. And finally, we're gonna tie it all together into one total financial master plan, answering that age old question, are you going to outlive your money? Or is your money gonna outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right, for 40 years, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your goals, to your dreams, with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Nine two. We still have a couple slots left if you give us a call right now and have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844 844- 752-6692. This is no pain, no gain, Financial Radio. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's no pain, no gain, Financial Radio. And Bob and I, we want to make sure that you have practical advice that you can use with your planning and investing. That's why we put together our latest guide, highlights from the new tax law, just to get you up to speed with the new tax reform. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. What you need to know about the new tax reform. You can download for free. Taxes around the corner. Just make sure you know what's going on with taxes this year. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And now we have a very, very, very special guest on the show. My colleague, Bob's colleague, one of our financial advisors here at Payne Capital, Frankie Lagrateria famously known to be one of Frankie's financial friends. You have to be on her good side. <laughs> I, have I to think you just got to be really cool is what it is. Really? That's <laughs> the prerequisite to be, be one of your friends. Really cool, like Bruce Springsteen level cool. And uh, <laughs> then we'll, we'll, we'll let you in for an interview. All right, boss level cool. <laughs> and you can maybe work with Frankie and be one of her financial friends. I like that. <laughs> so Frank, thanks for being on the show this morning. Thank you uh, for having me. And you worked on a case this past week. Uh, This is our spotlight segment where each week we dissect a real financial plan and we uncover some of the what we call flaws or pain points so our listeners can avoid some of the same mistakes with their planning and investing. Why don't you tell us about the case that you worked on and how you helped this couple get on their path to financial freedom? Yeah, absolutely. So I met this couple, very cool, awesome at what they do, which is something we see a lot, you know, really, really successful people but you know, no one's going to be amazing at everything. So that's where they come to us for help. One of the big things that I first noticed was they had about 20-some accounts. Oh, 
I mean, their accountant must cry every year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, their mailman must cry every year. He's probably like, what are right. all these letters? <laughs> Well, um, we do need to support the postal service. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of accounts, and that's a lot of headaches having to keep track of all those things. I mean, they were very organized. They had the, the most beautiful binder, but I was like, what if I can tell you that we can cut these 10, 20-some accounts literally in half? Now, was the reason they had so many accounts is because they wanted to get their money diversified at lots of different financial institutions? I think that was part of it. I think another part about it was not realizing how much they could consolidate. You know, they had a traditional IRA, a rollover IRA, an old SEP plan. That could all be one account. Right. You know, the reason to have different accounts is for different goals, different tax purposes, you know, different reasons. You know, you don't need to have the same account multiple times. That's like having the same white t-shirt 30 (laughs) times, you know, having a drawer of all white t-shirts. That's a great analogy. And it's true because the irony is a lot of times you have all these different accounts that are virtually doing the same thing, but even the investments within the accounts are the same freaking investments. They have different (laughs) names, but they own all the same things. Yes, absolutely. What tends to happen is when you have 20 of accounts, you don't really pay attention or you might not have an advisor attached to it. So it looks like they had half their portfolio sitting in cash. Is that because of procrastination or just they were too busy or what was it, Frankie? And, you know, there's always like a thousand reasons for it. I think it's a mixture Mm -hmm. of, you know, saving it, not knowing what to do with it. And then all of a sudden, it keeps piling up, piling up. And all of a sudden, you sit down, you're like, oh, no. (laughs) We have so much cash right now. That's that's the key to planning. You know, when you have a a strategy where you invest on purpose, you know where every penny should be every day whenever it shows up. And that's the, I think that's where you reduce a lot of stress and end up with a lot better performance over time. Oh, absolutely. And I think a big thing with having all that cash and they're two hardworking New Yorkers is TTF which, Bob, is triple tax-free. Wow. We needed some munis. Yes. I was like, let's get some munis up in here, friends. Let's take advantage of the New York sewage. We we literally just talked about on the last segment that, yes, generating tax-free income can be huge, even if it's a little bit lower in terms of the interest you receive. But if it's tax-free, that's way better than paying taxes on your interest. I know some people who are like, let's get a mortgage just so we can get a deduction and are not taking Mm. advantage of tax-free bonds. I was like, this is a lot easier than buying a house. (laughs) That's true. So that was another thing we set up. You you can always get your money. (laughs) Yeah. Absolutely. So that was another thing we set up for them. Consolidating, getting that cash to work, getting that cash to work in a, a, a tax advantage way. And then another big thing was was just planning. Like you said, you know, it's all about kind of getting a plan together. If you're going on vacation, you're not just going to show up at a new place and just say, hey, let's see where the world takes us. You're going to plan a trip. You're going to get organized. You're yeah. going to, you know, look for different things that you can do. And that's what we do with people's accounts here. And it's funny you said that because statistically, we spend more time planning our vacation than we do our retirement, which if you think about it, that's absolutely crazy. Is the ultimate vacation, guys. (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. Do you want to be- Well, you know what I see, what I see with your analysis, Frank, is that they, when people have 20 or 25 different accounts, and maybe they're thinking I'm diversifying my portfolio, but they ended up having the same investments in every account and too much money in cash. So unless that area of the market did well, they made money, but when it didn't do well, all they did was lose money. Absolutely. And they really, you know, missed out on on long term investments, you know, over time, over like a 10 year span, areas like small cap US and real estate investment trusts are one of your best performers. And they they completely missed the ball on these these categories. Yeah, exactly. Because they they had money concentrated in one or two areas. Whereas, you know, you want to spread your money out over lots of different areas. It's like farming, you want to have lots of different crops, not just one crop, because different things come into harvest at different times. Well, the nice thing is based on your projections, I can see now that they're set for life. So it's never too late to start. You know, you can't sit there and regret missing, you know, what's happened. It's like, all right, that's great. That's the last 10 years. What are the next 10 and 20 years of my life going to look like? And having a plan done by you, Frank, was the answer. That's always the answer, Bob. That is that is it. <laughs> no, absolutely. It really is never too late. The answer, not, the answer to life either. is become a financial friend of Frankie. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but definitely, it's it's important to kind of sit down and kind of go through things. You know, little changes can really go a long way. Um, you know, little savings here, little like mm-hmm. cleaning up there, you can really you know change people's projections for for a long time. 
Yeah, and I'll just mention looking at the spreadsheet here that we put together, you put together, is basically they were only getting under $20,000 a year in income on the portfolio, which a lot of that they're paying taxes on. You were able to increase or optimize the income on the portfolio to over thirty grand a year with a lot of that tax-free. That's awesome because now you know, you're optimizing the income on the portfolio. They know where that income's coming in no matter if the market's up or down every year and they're not paying taxes on a lot of that. Man, does that help for retirement. Absolutely. And I think at the end of the day, everyone has goals. Everyone has money goals. Everyone has money wishes. Everyone has things that they want. And I think if people just sat down and kind of made a plan, they'd see how realistic a lot of those are. Yeah, exactly. The first step is just have the plan. Be one of Frankie's financial friends. It's financial therapy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, great job on this case. Another, as Bob would like to say, financial masterpiece. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a plan like this that addresses my entire portfolio, here's your shot to do it. We still have a couple slots left if you give us a call right now. Myself, Bob, and Frankie will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review when we look at the whole picture. Simply bring in those statements, print them off the computer put them in a folder, bring them in the office. We're going to build you your own personalized financial portfolio to give you a bird's eye view of your entire financial picture. And we're going to look at all the critical components just like we did here today. We're going to look at things like diversification. Do you have a gazillion accounts out there? This couple had 30 different accounts. We're able to consolidate and diversify better to help them protect themselves against the downturns in the market and make sure they're on track. Can we help you to consolidate, diversify your money? We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in these investment portfolios. What hidden costs are you paying in your portfolio? We're going to show you how to reduce costs on some of those high cost products like annuities, mutual funds, life insurance products. So there's more money in your pocket for retirement. And finally, we're going to look at income. Are you optimizing the income on your portfolio? What's your income gap for retirement? Frankie was able to increase their income by almost double on this portfolio and make a lot of it tax-free. Can we do the same for you? Can we help optimize the income on your portfolio? And then finally, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we've been working on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. We have a few openings left. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved at least 200000 for your retirement. Our team will run for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. But there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. All right. Well, another great show this morning. Frank, magical to have you on the show. Is that the right adjective? I think so. I think it, I think it magical really fits my personality. And I like the fact that we now have criteria to be one of Frankie's financial friends. You got to be cool. You've got to like Bruce Springsteen. (laughs) Just like maybe show up with like leather pants on, do like a stage <laughs> slide into the office. <laughs> man, oh man, it's forget a about all that. You have at least two hundred thousand to invest. Give Frankie oh, a call. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, great show, Big Bob. What's up for the rest of the uh, weekend? Rooting for your Wildcats, buddy. I'm just hoping your alma mater makes it to the uh, Final Four again. I love it. Go Wildcats! And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.